I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this two of, cu two of cups. And it's with the Empress. Now the two of cups it often refers to romantic partnerships, but that's not its, that's not its only connotation. It can actually speak of balance, friendship, joy, sharing. This is a card that says that things are likely to be going really well, and you should be feeling more than usually loved cared for and content. Now it's with the Empress. Just know when you get the Empress in a reading, it's the type of energy that does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things, her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Now, this does not mean that she'll always get her way, but the Empress is a reminder not to ignore your creative side, your intuitive side. It's about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always mean financially, because we all know that there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is actually only, only one of them. As the Empress, you can have it all. Yeah, the Empress can have it all. With the Empress, with the Empress, it's a very potent time for love. You could find that men and women alike, all of a sudden they're finding you far more attractive, both in terms of friendship and romance. Yeah, so you'll be attracting all kinds, the good, the bad, the ugly. And sometimes it's going to be hard to tell which is which, if you can believe that. So, the recent past energy, like I said, between you and your person, two of cups, clarified by the Empress. Yeah, so, Pisces, I'm getting that. There is someone in your energy. I'm not sure if this is the person that you're involved with or someone that you know or I'm getting that it's someone that you you already know. I'm not sure if it's the person that you're involved with, but someone that you know, somebody who is in your world or someone that you you're dealing with now maybe somebody that you used to know they they've got you on their mind I don't know if you if you ran across this person but like I said they're starting to see you in a different light they're starting to see that you're shining, very beautiful. They're becoming very, very attracted to you. This could be someone that you see every day at, or every week at a meeting or at church. Yeah, I don't know if you're starting to look different, if you've got a new look, a makeover. But this person is, yeah, you got somebody that's, got you on their mind a lot. Yeah, they're starting to see you as the ideal partner with this Two of Cups here. They're starting to see you as someone that um, would bring balance to their life, a true love. Yeah, because the Two of Cups is actually all the things that most of us hope for when it comes to love and relationships. 
Yeah, so somebody sees you as, like I said, the ideal mate, a romantic partnership. And for some reason, all of a sudden, they're finding you far more attractive than they ever have. Something's going on here. I don't know. Like I said, maybe you've got a makeover, a new wardrobe. Maybe you're just now putting yourself out there on social media in a different way, more seductive. I don't know what you're doing, but somebody is really, really into you. Really. Maybe it's the person that you're dealing with romantically. Could be. So, yeah. Also, just a little side note. When you get the Empress, it's about deep love. So somebody could be really, really starting to get attached to you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. We got the Nine of Wands. And it's with the Eight of Pentacles. Now the Nine of Wands, when this comes up, the first and the best step is often take a deep breath. Calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do so. Because at least some of the worries, they'll likely turn out to be imaginary. So get very specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. You might want to ask yourself, what's the true likelihood of the worry actually happening? Now, it's with the Eight of Pentacles, which can point to necessary efforts. You've got a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Ded dedication to the task, it's important. So, if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So, be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance. No one can or should work all the time. The Eight of Pentacles. It does indicate a very hard work period. And this does not have to be negative, but you have to be prepared for it. Yeah, if you look at the if you look at the Eight of Pentacles, it's the card that's below the word present. It looks like this man he gets up before sunrise and he starts to work. And then it looks like he, he goes non-stop, just working and working. Because it looks like it's about to become nighttime, and he's still working. And on top of that, it's raining. You see those huge raindrops? Yeah, there's a lot of motivation and passion. And this person must be inspired, trying to work towards something. A lot of determination. So, with these two cards paired together, Nine of Wands, clarified by the Eight of Pentacles for what's coming up for you and your person. Or this person that's so drawn to you. Um, what I'm showing is that it's, it, it could cause you some... Well... In your mind, you're not, I don't think you're letting this person know, but in your head, because the Knight of Wands can be about things in your head, okay? So what I'm thinking or what I'm feeling is that in your head, you're going to close yourself off to this person. When I say in your head, these are your thoughts. You're closing yourself off to this person. Whoever this is that, that's finding you the ideal mate, whoever this is, yeah, you're going to barricade yourself. That's what this Nine of Wands does. No one gets past their barricade. Yeah, so I'm showing that you're, you're going to decide for a lot of you to Close yourself off to this person, to this situation. Because like I said, the Nine of Wands, 
No one gets past their barricade. They're not budging. They close themselves in and they just sit there. But because it's with the Eight of Pentacles, um, it looks like you'll probably make busy. Yeah, you'll make busy. You won't have time for this person. You'll let them, you'll give them that impression. And you're making sure that they don't come anywhere near you. For some reason, you got somebody that wants to be with you, but you're closing yourself off. And you're either really busy or you're making busy. So, we move on over. And we take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. We got the queen. No, that's justice. Yeah, justice is at the top and the queen of wands is at the bottom. Okay, so justice, it actually deals with the ideal of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to remember that not everything you're dealing with is a direct result of your own actions or karma. Because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily. Now if you're directly involved in a court case, it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. Now, it's with this Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands can refer to a woman. She, she'll have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So when this is not referring to an actual person, she stands for getting a lot accomplished and often a focus on work or career. The Queen is really positive, uplifting energy. So when she stands for an actual woman in your life, she's a really good friend who is 100% on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive, and you get the Queen of Wands in the reading, this is actually one of the more positive signs that there can be. So the challenge for you, Pisces, justice with the Queen of Wands. So, yeah, this, this reading is kind of not easy to read or get the full picture, but I think I'm starting to make sense of it now. Okay, this person that's, that's starting to see you, see your light shine, and they're becoming more and more attracted to you, um, you're deciding to close yourself off. And you're just making busy. You're not really that busy. Because when you're interested in someone, you make time for them. So you're making busy. You're closing yourself off. This person is someone that you used to be attracted to. Very drawn to. And you found them to be the ideal person for you. The ideal mate. The perfect mate. But they weren't interested in you then. But now that your light is shining, you've got some new look or some pretty pictures on Facebook or whatever you're doing now. They are really, really into it. This person wants to be with you. You feel like justice is going to be served. Finally. This person's really determined about you with the Queen of Wands here. The Queen of Wands is about being determined. Could be very egotistical, used to getting what they want. Very confident. This is this person that's after you. They're very determined now. But before, they were not. They could care less, probably, before. But now, something is different about you. They're all in. They want you for the, for um, a partnership, commitment. We see you as the perfect person for them now, but not before. 
So, boy, you, you're about to let him have it. Because if you look at the picture of the Justice card, you probably can't, you can see it if you put your camera, if you put your, um, your screen on full. Blow it up, you can take a good look at the details of the Justice card. Yeah, you're about to let this person have it. That's how you're feeling, at least. This lady in the Justice card is the card above the word challenge. She's, she bitten, you, she bit into a pomegranate. She's got it in her hand, if you can see it. And she's, she put a big chunk into it. She bit a big chunk out of a pomegranate. And if anyone has ever had a pomegranate, I think they're called pomegranate apples. They usually come out around Halloween. If anyone has ever had one of those, those pomegranates with all the little red seeds in them, you know how tough the skin is. So look, take a look at the Justice card. She actually took a big, huge chunk out of it. And then she took her other hand, her fist. She's got her fist balled up. And she's like, bam, pow, you're about to get it. I'm about to give it to you. It's time for payback. Payback. Yeah, <laughs> payback, it hurts. So that's what, she's, that's what you're thinking. Yeah, it's like, it's like, okay, you didn't want me then. When you want, when you were ready and you wanted them. So now they come in, whoever this is, it looks like they're, they're, they're turning around. Now they're seeing you in a different light. They want you now. I don't know what you did to yourself, Pisces. They're very attracted to you now, but before, not so much. They let you slip away when you were interested. So now you're like, okay. Now's a good time for you to feel rejected. So you make busy. You close yourself off. When they text you, when they call you, you probably don't even answer. But the thing is that the Queen of Wands is very determined. So they're not going to stop. They're not giving up. But in your head, you, f you feel like finally the big payback. Yeah. You're about to feel justified. Or satisfied yeah so let's see what the outcome is going to be so we got two of Pentacles and it's with the seven of wands yeah two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind you could need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things multitasking is not your friend so you may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on two main, main priorities could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced so be sure that you're paying attention there now it's with the seven of wands yeah you're likely to find that in any sort of competitive situation that you come out on top things should be going well you should be feeling good any projects that you have, they should be moving right along. You could still have some regular moments of self-doubt, though. But, um, yeah, you could still have some regular moments of self-doubt. But it's going to actually be the time that you need to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear. And you can actually help someone out by spelling things out for them. This card it points to being independent and thinking for yourself. So the outcome, two of pentacles with the seven of wands. So yeah, like I said earlier that you make busy. You're making your you're making them think you're busy. You got a lot going on. And you probably do as the Empress. Like I said, the Empress can have it all. Very potent time for love and romance. So, it looks like 
with the Two of Pentacles here. Yeah, you're still making busy. Whether you're busy or not. Yeah. You, you're making them think you, you... You gotta do this, you gotta do that. You don't have time for them. They're chasing you, basically. And you're probably enjoying it. Because there was a time when you used to chase them. And they didn't give in. They made you feel rejected. And now it's the big payback. Justice. Yeah. So like I said, this person is very determined. Because we got the Seven of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So... This, the Seven of Wands is about wanting to be the last man standing. Yeah. So this person is going to feel the fear and do it anyway. Even though they could feel that you're pushing them away. They, this person wants to be the last man standing. So that is the reading that I have for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. Yeah, there's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there, it's going to pass. And we'll all get through this, so stay strong, take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, just in case this reading did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Keep in mind if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend. It could be a family member or it could be a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be them or they could be you. So I could never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading and take care.